Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. The sun is just about to come up and we're gonna go get some lobsters hopefully, so stay tuned. We never know what we're gonna find in the pots. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Look at that for a beautiful sunrise. We have two mile an hour winds, so it's absolutely nothing. In the next 20 minutes or so, that sun's gonna come up. And we're gonna hopefully go pull some pots and get some big old lobsters. You may not be able to see too much guys. So it's, it's actually quite light at the moment, I can see quite a lot. So we're on the first pot of the day, just a single pot. Hopefully, hopefully it's enough. These have been soaking for nine days now. Shankers, a couple of small shankers in there. I'll just get out of here and then we'll give you a little show. Small male brown crab there. That's what all it is in this one. That was the biggest one. It's just a couple of little ones. All right, hopefully the next pot produces some lobos. Look at that sunrise. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. As you can see, got the nav lights on and well seen today like a mill pond. Lobsters. There's one small lobster in there. There you go. One well, micro mini lobster. <laughs> no keepers. Take this one up, get it out, and we're on to the next one. We are at my outside string at the moment. This is the, the one that's in the most tide, that's for sure. First one of the day. Oh, we got a nice lobster in there. That might be a keeper. First lobster. And that one there is a keeper. Beauty, first keeper of the day. Check the other eye socket, it's about three million, that one. It's a lovely little lobster. First pot. First part of the deep pots anyway. Come on, second pot's gonna be here in a minute. Come on, give us a beat. Let's see a lobster. There's a little lobster in there. And there we go. Little baby Larry. Always lovely to see. Spider crab and a brown crab. One keeper out of that string. It's not too bad. Let's go get the other one. Yeah! Go get some more Larry's. One down. Come on, turn my head torch off now. This is a new little reef that I found as well, so hopefully we can get some more food. Oh, we got a lobster. Oh, we got a nice one. Beauty. The new spot brought the bite. <laughs> The new spot brought the lobsters, baby. It's 
a lovely male lobster. Look at that one. What a beauty. Lovely male. Nice keeper, that. What I'm baiting up with. So I've got ray carcasses from, an, from a friend of mine. Can't even get my words out. And also, uh, Wahoo Guernsey Fishing. Shout out to him. He gave me some bait as well. I'm using that today as well. It's amazing how much you go through. Come on, give me some more. We're off to a good start today. Two lobsters already. Really nice. I'm gonna have to take the jumper off though. Absolutely nothing in that one. No holes in the pot. Funny how you get that sometimes. Some pots just have nothing in, but the bait's gone. Woo! Nice to sweat it out in the morning. That's for sure. And we got just a little spider crab in that one. It's not a bad one, keeper. Woo! Feel the burn, baby, feel the burn. Let's get these back out and onto the next set. A little brown crab in that one. A little bit bigger than the last, but not big enough to keep. Heave ho! Early in the morning, heave ho! Absolutely nothing. I'm going to move these strings, guys. We'll pull the other string, see what's in it, and we'll move them. I haven't caught nothing in three trips here. Next string, we're going to move these either way if I catch or not. It's a couple of trips now. Loads of good bait, but I just haven't caught anything. So, in my experience, if you're not getting anything, move. <laughs> One. Come on, you lobsters. Give us some more. A little lobster. Very small, though. Little baby lobsters. Do -do 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 -do. Nice, bait these up, get these out. Let's go find some better lobster grounds. Now that is a sunrise right there. That is absolutely gorgeous. And we're out catching some lobsters, baby. What a beautiful way to spend the morning. Come on, lobsters. Come on. These pots are right over a reef. I've just set the other ones there, and I've got one the other side of the reef as well. So hopefully, we get some lobsters out of it. There's pot. Spider crab hanging up there. I've got this core stuck. There we go. Stuck on the top of the pot. There's a little baby lobster in there as well. There we go. A little mini thing. Look at that. I love seeing that there's so many small lobsters around. It's great to see for the future. 
Where's all the keepers at? We've got two, we need three more to get our limit. That's what we're after. That was a lobster. Hey, hey. That's going to be close to a keeper, if not a keeper. I'm pretty sure that's going to come up a keeper, that one. If I can get the fan off. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Big keeper, but full of eggs. That's an easy keeper, that one. But if they've got eggs. They go back. That's our breeding stock right there. One lobster can have thousands of eggs. So back she goes. See you later, love. Maybe some more lobsters for the future. <laughs> quite a lot of tide here. Our tide's come up quite a bit now, so that's why I like to get out just after low water. As soon as I can get on the boat. Makes it for easier pollen. <laughs> Good thing is, is like people ask, don't I get a bad back? It's because I've got I've got light pots. They're semi-light. Like you can get 24 inch pots, 26 inch and stuff like that and uh, I've got 24s so they're really light, easy to pull so it's more like a little workout or a big workout than it is actually straining myself, does that make sense? That's, that's what my thinking was on it anyway. A little lobster in there. Another little baby one, a little female. Gotta be careful where I am because I'm close to a boulder. Very nice. Give us a beast, Mr. Crap Pots. Give us a beast. No mess. Next pot's nearly here. Lobster, two lobsters in there. Certainly finding the lobsters. Little one chlora and two chlora. And a little brown crab. Come on, last pot of this string. After this, we've got two strings left. One string of three and one string of two. Just one little spider crab, that was terrible. All right, bait this one up. Let's get onto those last two strings, baby. I actually forgot, there's three strings left. Two strings of two and one string of three. Problem with having a few parts, you end up forgetting where you put them. A few rocks around here. We like the shallow rough ground. I'm over a boulder bed. I, at low tide I can't get here, but a couple of hours off I can. So that's why I put them in it. Great place for lobsters. They tuck themselves right under the boulders. And uh, yeah, they did quite well. Hopefully. Come on, you lobsters. Three strings left. Give us three keepers. That's what we need. First pot. Lobster. That might be a keeper if we're lucky. Got the gauge. And that there is another keeper. Easy keeper as well. You beauty. First pot on the shallow strings, come on. Come on you lobsters. Heave hole. It 
Another lobster. Woohoo! That's a keeper as well. <laughs> Another easy keeper. Look at that, you beauty. I'm gonna get this last pot up quick because we're getting close to the rocks. Can we go free for free? Another keeper! Woohoo! Another keeper, baby! <laughs> Look at that! Big buster lobster! You beauty! We've got our five keepers of the day! There you go, another little lobster! What an absolute diamond! Five lobsters, baby! That was three! One in each pot! Sweating out. Hope we're over some stone there. Get us away from this bit. <laughs> we are right up against the rocks. That's a great sign. Nothing in that one. Woo! Sweating out. A little lobster. Just a rat. Haven't had a fish in a crab pot in ages. There you go, guys. Little Larry. Little brown crab. We got a little baby rats. I gotta get out of here, I'm close to the boulders. A little Tom Pop Blenny there. Tell you what, these things, they'll bite you if you give them a chance. So there we go, guys. We've got our limit of lobsters today. This one being the biggest. Big male, lovely big claws on it. Absolute beauties. So it's nice to get that. And I band all these up now, because uh, I've got an order at the end of the week, and all these will be going to a barbecue. It's a nice average of lobsters at the moment lovely to see the population is absolutely booming I'm absolutely buzzing with that look at the size of that big male what a beauty all of them are a great stamp of lobster there they're well in by a long shot I think one of them's in about three millimeters and that's still quite a long way but lovely to see good amount of lobsters hopefully next time we get a load of monsters you beauty that's all for today's episode guys i just thought i'd uh, take you along for a nice old crab pot sesh early in the mornings and now i'm about to go bream fishing with cow but that's a separate video so stay tuned if you want any merch the links in the description if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed there's going to be plenty more to come it's mad fishing baby Woo!